it's Donna and I have Kyla <laughs> here with me and today we have a Nadine West bag. This is actually my 15th bag with Nadine West. 15 bag. So Nadine West is nice enough to send me these bags every month to show you guys what they offer and some of the clothing that you could also request. I will leave all the details in the description below on how you can also get a bag and how you can get $10 off your first bag and free shipping. So the styling service, or they call it the shipping fee, is actually $9.78, but that actually gets waived on your first bag, plus you get a $10 credit towards something that you wanna purchase inside the bag. Nadine West is one of the more affordable styling services, if you ask me. Um, it's very similar to some of the other ones where you go in and do your profile, which doesn't take long at all. You can also tell them what type of items you want and what kind of price point you wanna spend, and then they send you items for you to try on in the comfort of your home. If you like anything, you go ahead and buy it. If you don't like it, you ship it back in this exact same bag, so be careful how you open it. They give you a prepaid label that you just stick back on the bag and you ship back. It's a super easy process, so make sure you use that link below so you do save that $10 on your first bag. So that's kind of the quick skinny of it all. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We're so glad that you found us and welcome to our channel. Hopefully you enjoy what you see today. We're gonna go through everything that's in the bag, try everything on, and then we'll get together at the end and take a look at the prices. Yeah? Yeah. I did a quick intro just for Kyla because she doesn't like all the intro stuff. <laughs> all right, so they have cute little pink bags. You always know when your package gets here. And like I said, make sure you go really easily when you open the bag so that you don't rip it. Huh? And then we've got two burritos in the Mom, bag. Yeah. You can't believe you are on second spot. Fifteen. Fifteen bags. Fifteen bags. All right, so here is the first little Aww. bundle of clothes. We've got I, some gray I open it. pants, maybe? All right, so let's see what the second bundle looks like. Ooh. Kylie, you want to hold that one? Yeah. This one's bigger. Oh, this is, Ooh, we see like, some burgundies and greens and Mom, blues, it looks like, in there. Mom, you opened the big one and I opened the little one. We'll see. All right, and then they also give you an invoice, and then this is your label also so that you can send everything and back. And we don't take any sneak peeks. No sneak peeks, no. That's not fun at okay, all. Okay, so I will open it first. Okay, let me hold it up so they can see it, too. Okay. Oh! What do we have in there, Kyla? Um, pants, I yep. think. Super soft pants. <laughs> okay, let's show them one thing at a time. So these are by Legging Depot. They almost look like a tie-dye gray and black look to those. My sister loves tie-dye. Mm -hmm. And actually, I really like the Legging Depot leggings usually, and they're a nice, thicker cotton feel. And, and really super soft. And there's, um, like, you can pull the pants up on the bottom. Yep, you could always if you get hot, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's the first ones. What else oh, do we have? Looks shut. It's like, nope, another pair of leggings, but these are also Legging Depot, and they are gray and black roses. I do like flowers. I just don't know about flowers on pants. I've gotten a couple of these from them, and honestly, I haven't worn them yet. So what do you guys think about flowers on pants? Do you wear flower, flowers on your leggings? Hmm, I don't know. Definitely wear them around Depot. the house. Though. I All didn't right. that brand before. Yeah, Legging Depot. Yeah. Here is the next bundle. Let's see here, Kyla. These are hopefully some shirts. I didn't, I didn't heard of this brand before. Oh, I have. They send them to me. Okay. So, I see a lot of wrinkles, though. So, that bothers me a little bit. So, whoever packed my bag did not do a good job at keeping the wrinkles away. This looks like maybe a cardigan. Cardigan! Oh, it's a hooded cardigan. That's why I couldn't find it. This is by Sheila Rose, and it is a navy blue. It looks more like a duster. It's very long and maybe three-quarter length. We're going to see how long that is on me with the hood. So it's a little more casual, so I don't know. You can wear the hood if, yeah, you, get, if you get cold. If, if your head gets cold. If your head gets cold. Okay, so this one's also by Sheila Rose. It's a green tank. Right. And this one has like a interesting string design in the front. So that'll be interesting. I have to find the tag. And then this is like a burgundy colored top. Can't figure out what's going on here. Maybe it's a tank. We are all twisted up here. Okay, Sheila Rose as well. And there is a burgundy tank, and it looks like in the back, that's why I was confused, it has like a split in the back. Really high split. It actually crosses over all the way, so you would have to wear something underneath of that, I would think. 
But that might be nice on a really hot day, maybe just with a bralette underneath of it. Don't know if Mama I'm says I'm yet. Well, then deeper. Yeah. Do we have any jewelry? Jewelry bag fell on the floor. <laughs> this is kind of like I know, it fell out of the bundle. All right, let's see here. Aww. It's like a necklace, maybe? And the last time they send us the bag, uh -huh. they give us the, um, piece necklaces. They that have two pieces in it, didn't they? Yeah, so we can wear every single, so we can get all necklaces together. Oh, okay, so this one is really delicate. It has two, let's see if I can get that on the camera right. It's got two rings interlaced together and one of them has like little gems or is it just yep has little clear gemstones Mom. on it that's really cute i like delicate jewelry as you can see like that's kind of more my style than and big she... jewelry so mm -hmm. i can actually see myself wearing that a whole lot more than some of the bigger pieces so i think that's really cute i think right. i i think i still have the necklace yeah you do i think so all right well, let's try out a couple of these things and then like i said we'll get together and take a look at the prices so hang on so here is the first outfit that I put together. I ended up putting a white spaghetti strap tank top underneath of this green top because it just fits me odd. I'm not very big up tops, so shirts like this just don't work for me normally, but I think it's kind of cute with the white tank top underneath of it, to be honest. I wasn't sure because it kind of has this stripe here, but I think it's really cute actually with the white underneath of it. Um, but it's a nice length. It's very soft material. I don't have any type of green, hunter green tank tops in my wardrobe, so I think this would be a nice addition to it. Um, it's very low on the sides, so again, another reason that I would have to wear something underneath of it. Um, any other ideas that you guys would have that you would put underneath of something like this so that you wouldn't see your bra underneath of it would be great. Leave it in the comments below. Um, the back is more of a racer um, strap in the back, um, so I was kind of surprised by that, but I kind of like the fit of it. I think it's really cute. So let's talk about the leggings. So <laughs> legging depots, I do really love these leggings because they are soft. I've said that quite a few times, but I also like where they hit me on my waist. They're a little bit high waisted and they feel like they kind of pull things in where they're supposed to pull things in, but they're not too tight here. So you don't get like those extra rolls or ripples underneath of your shirt, which I really hate that. Um, so I think these look really nice. Now, whether I would actually wear them in public is a whole nother story. They do hit nicely on the ankles. So they're at a good length. Um, but I think they're really cute. Would you wear these out in public? I'd love to know. All right, let's try on the next outfit. So I went ahead and paired the last few pieces together and I kind of like it. I'm really surprised. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it would match or not, um, but I do, especially the top part, I do like. So the cardigan that I'm wearing has a lot of shape to it. It has like these triangles in the front, the points. And I think, I think, they have pockets, but they're a little bit farther back, but they do have pockets, which you don't see that a lot with cardigans, unless they're obvious, but these are actually sewed into the seam, which is kind of cool. Um, I like the length of the sleeve. It hits at a really good point. They're also lightweight enough that you can push them up, which I also love, um, but the length is really nice in the back as well. And I think it's cute with these little like flappies on the bottom and the added plus of the pockets. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the top. So here is the burgundy top that I just wasn't sure about, but I love the front of it. I like the cut so it doesn't come too far in. Um, it covers what it's supposed to cover. And I really like the length of it as well. Um, and then the back, bam. <laughs> so we have like this open cut, it's kind of hard for me to see. Um, but you see how it just flies open. So I went ahead and paired a white tank top underneath of this as well. Um, and I think it pairs well. I think it's really cute and kind of a surprise when you're walking away from somebody and like, oh, look, it actually opens in the back. So I think that's really cute. Um, I also went ahead and put on the necklace. I think it is pretty perfect with this outfit. I'm hoping that that's picking up in the camera there. It's kind of hard to see with the reflection of the light. Um, but I think that's also really cute and delicate with this shirt kind of pops off of the dark color. All right, the second pair of Legging Depot, they also fit very nicely, of course. They're the exact same as the other one, just a different pattern. Um, I'm just not sure about the, the pattern on them. I do like these better than the rose pattern. I feel like these are a little more doable. Um, I think these would be really cute to exercise in well. I haven't done that yet, so I don't know if they're too hot <laughs> to do that in, um, but they're really cute. I think the pattern is just unique. Like I mentioned earlier, it's kind of a tie-dye color, so I don't know, what do you guys think? While you're thinking about it, let's go ahead and get together and take a look at the prices. All right, so what do you think, Kyla? We're back. We are back. <laughs> All right, so.
So let's go through the price list real quick and kind of see what everything shakes out to be. All right, so I went ahead and kept this top on. Now, I think it's more of a burgundy. Maybe it's a plum. They're calling it purple. I don't know. It's kind of pushing it for purple. But oh. this is the Tammy. Yes, Mom is like mixed in. Yeah, it's a plummy, a plummy color. Can we call it that? And yeah. then this one was by the Sheila Rose brand. Um, this one is $25.99. I think that that's a decent price because of the style of it. I don't know. What do you guys think? All right, the cardigan, the blue one, which I completely forgot to put the hood up when we were trying it on, but I think I would forget about the hood anyway. Um, this here is the Sari um, by the same brand. This is navy in color, obviously. This one's $39.99. Mm, I think that's pushing the edge um, as far as the expense. Now, when I do these bags, I get kind of a mixture of high end and the lower end. Um, I do the middle part so you can kind of get a dabble of what they offer. Um, so if you get the lower price end, you may not end up with something that's $40. Um, but I still thought it was cute. I'll definitely be using it, especially those pockets. All right, the green top. This one is Hunter Green. This is the same brand by Yana. Yana? I don't know. And this one's $39.99. Again, I think it's a little bit on the high end for a basic tank, um, but still really nice. Oh, those? You want those? You want to hold them? All right, and then the leggings. Let's talk about those. So the Legging Depot is both brands. This one is Legging the... Legging Depot. Yeah. This is Silver Rose Leggings, and these are $22.19. That's a really good price for a nice and pair of leggings. And they're so soft. They're so soft. How many times are we going to say that, huh? Um, and then the other ones, these are called the Kirsten in gray, and these are $35.99. Now, why these are more expensive than those, I don't know, because they're exactly the same. Just a different print. Maybe this print's more popular. Hmm, I don't know. And then the necklace that I went ahead and tried on here, this is the Alley in silver, and this is $44.99. Nine. So what you guys think? What was your favorite piece? Please leave a comment below and, and let me know what you thought. click the bell. Always click the bell. The thumbs up. So make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel. All right, that's all we've got for you guys today. See you guys next time. Happy styling. Bye. Bye.